give you guys an update on Jax. He's four months of age and he's eating. I don't know what he's eating. Stop eating that stuff. Look. Hey, come here. Come here. Look how big he is at four months. Hey, you ready? You ready? Go. guys welcome to another video in this video you see the thumbnail you see the title man I didn't realize how much of a pain in the ass um, getting spacers would be and I guess the time that we're in right now if that's even a thing I guess cuz like material short whatever but um, basically I'm not gonna disclose the, uh, the actual seller but basically I messaged the seller and I was just trying to have a dialogue with him saying that you know hey for whatever reason they're not working um could you just send me another pair i'll send these back he was so um i don't know what his thought process was but he, he basically told me oh i've installed these on many cars and da -da 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 -da, it should work and i was like showing him that it didn't with you know picture evidence and everything um and basically he just said to send a refund he didn't want to like help me to try and, and get my issue you know taken care of or anything he just sent the um he asked me to send the refund after having a back and forth with him or just saying hey i just want to get this done i never got nasty with him or anything and then after i sent the refund i got the refund and he blocked me i couldn't buy any of his products i actually found one that said challenger on it because the one that i bought said charger which um i believe the charger and challenger have the same setup but that's neither here or there long story short is is that I saw another product that looked like it was more for my car and I couldn't buy it because he blocked me. So that sucks. Um, a little immature, I guess uh, that's how um, some people want to carry on in the, uh, you know, the car community, but it's all right. Um, I put up a post on IG about five mil spacers and uh, shouts out to my man Shaka. He uh, recommended me the ZL1. The ZL1 spacers came in um, I'm gonna install them. Let's, if you guys don't know, I'm at the park with Jax. As you can see, he's over uh, there. Jax, Jax. There we go. <laughs> but anyways, yeah. Um, they're sitting at the house now. I just got to put them on. Um, I'm pretty sure they're. I'm pretty sure they'll work. But yeah, it was just more of just to give you guys like a. Uh, yeah, and well an explanation for one it took so long this is something that should have been addressed a long time ago but you know it is what it is so yeah Jax is four months um i haven't weighed him in a while but uh he's definitely getting heavier um his defensiveness is coming in too which is nice but uh yeah man excited excited to see his growth to see. Damn, dude. Like, one thing about him. Oh, look. Cool. He's found a friend. <laughs> Alright, guys. It's way later in the day. Had, to, had some uh, other priorities to take care of, but I'm back here with you guys. Got these uh, ZL1 add-ons wheel spacers. Once again, Shaka for recommending them. Five millimeter. Let's see how these look. I already got on. Um, already got the uh, the wheel off already, just to show you guys. Actually. It's already on, guys, but let me just show that one more time. So, it fits on nicely, as you can see. It sits very well. Space right there. Let's see how it looks on the wheel. I am going to put some, uh, I forget what this stuff is called. Um, um, putting on some anti-seize lubricant on the uh, the inside part right there. 
and uh, yeah, we're gonna get these on. I just need to mark off um, the uh, actual holes that it goes on so I'm not looking stupid later. So, just gonna, you know, just mark where they go. So when I put the anti-seize on there, I am not trying to guess. Right there. So there we go. By the way, this shot is just for the thumbnail, so don't mind me, just get my thumbnail real quick. not really much of a visual difference it's just more so that you know like i said in the previous video i'm not rubbing it was a slight rub and you know I'm, if you've been watching free smoke i'm about to be in georgia and then next month i'm gonna be in dallas you know for the showdown against uh demonology and dunk master um the one in georgia is srt Bree and dunk master as well but um yeah there's not much of a visual difference it's just more of you know to get the tire away so it's not rubbing anymore but yeah, I got a couple other little mods coming to the car. Actually, uh, they should be here soon, so I'll be making videos about that. But yeah, um, appreciate you guys watching. Um, there's the car right there. Like I said, you can't really excuse the car; it's dirty. But uh, yeah, you can't really. There's not really that much of a difference. That's pretty much how the tires stick out for the most part. Um, I took the car for a drive. Ooh, look at all that dirt. That's all that pollen. I got to get rid of. But anyways, um, yeah, I took the car out for a drive, hit 50 miles an hour, rode smooth and everything. I turned, didn't hear no rubbing, so I'm good to go, guys. But yeah, guys, like I said, you know, um, make sure you watch us on Free Smoke. It's uh, myself, Fat Cat, and Garage Driven. Um, you know, we're posting, you know, videos daily, and we go live on Sunday, guys. So, you know, stay tuned for that. Also, too, I'm thinking about bringing new content to the channel like you know some behind the scenes stuff i'm not sure how i'm gonna go about it but it's definitely like in, in the thoughts right now but yeah i'm gonna go ahead and close this video out my name is jordan this is modern day muscle and i'll see you guys in the next video